and we can start working. I thought this would take a lot longer, but, you know, me rambling and time flies. Aha! King of the zombies. You wear the crown, but you are... Ooh, I'm the king of the zombies now. Oh, yeah, spiffy. I think a crown fits me rather well. Well, then again, the, the crown is kind of square, and so is my head, but then... That's just getting into semantics. Okay. I don't like this coal, just because of the position it's in. Um, tons of stuff I passed up in retrospect that I I realize I need. I don't know what tungsten ore is really used for. I really don't. Um, then again, I think that's part of another mod that I haven't touched yet. I found out the infused things are for Thomcraft, which I'm probably going to be the next mod I tap into. That or Mysticraft, something along those lines. Uh, that stuff, definitely for Blutricity, and I'm going to need some, but, um, not right now. It's most of the inventions that, uh... Oh, hello. Stay back, for I am your king. Don't make me smite you any further. Let me... None of these zombies recognize my Thotor. <sighs> One day I shall rule them all. Perhaps with a ring. No, that's kind of sissy. Maybe a sword. Yeah, a sword. Definitely a sword. Sword made out of gold with... Uh, gold swords break easily. Um, sword made out of plutonium. Or uranium. That would be cool. That really would be cool. Um, have like a poison effect attached to it. Probably not a smart idea bringing around a uranium sword, though. Um, I'm not sure... I really don't know a lot about uranium, but it just seems like a bad idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's radioactive by itself. I'm not sure if that's just a misnomer, where it's not really radioactive until they, they mess with it, or it's a really low amount. But I'm pretty sure it's just a bad idea to carry anything, even remotely radioactive, around with you. I imagine cutting someone with a uranium sword would be quite quite deadly. I mean, like, something... Am I, like, near a zombie spawner or something? Because it really sounds like it. Oh, speaking of which, um... Interesting things I found out, too. Uh, you can actually move spawners with a portal gun, or a gravity gun, which, it's on my list of things I definitely want to do. Okay, I have more than enough coal. I have freaking disrespectful zombies. Not respecting my Thoradori at all. I'm going to need to get a bat, a back, a bat pack. Yeah, bat. I always want to say back, but it, it's supposed to be like a cross between back and battery. So I always get it screwed up. Okay, there's an Enderman. Let us go more towards my mining base. I can find out where to go from there. I don't really, I don't really know much stuff you can use lead on. I know silver you can at least to make, at least use to make more um, fiber cables. Okay, we're going to take this with us. We're going to put this back in case we need something later. Take that with us. Uh, these can also be used for fuel, so I'll take that. And of course, I took my coal out of those. Anyway, so we're going to go back up. We're going to set up our turtles. We are going to need a few things before we fully set them up. I would prefer to have diamond chests for them to deposit stuff into, but um, likelihood of that happening is kind of low. Unless I have tons of gold and or iron, which I severely doubt at the moment. Oh, and look, it's dark. Perfect. Anyway, um... Also, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these levels. I was thinking about making an enchanting table, but to be honest, I mean, I don't really need one. Especially right now. I mean, I would love to have, like, an efficiency 5 diamond drill. Or advanced diamond drill would be even better. But, um, I think I'll wait on that for now. Plus, eventually I can just get a, what is it called? Mining laser. Oh, my God. I, uh, tested one of those out. So freaking awesome. Also, uh, another thing I learned about was quantum armor. Unfortunately, in this series, we are very, very far away 
from being able to actually do that. Because you need Iridium, and in this mod pack, the only way to get Iridium... See up? I think he's up above me. Okay, shouldn't have any more creeper problems. Anyway. Uh, na, 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 Oh, I need more coal for the second. Anyway, I can split them up. Doesn't matter. Okay, so... Let me just deposit all the stuff I don't need currently. And meanwhile, lava doesn't work on normal generators. So screw you, generator. I don't make a geothermal. Geo. I need some empty cells, some glass, and I have everything I need, more or less. I, I guess I can always make a secondary generator later. Or, I could use both. Um, two things. First of all, let's put up my drill while we wait and absorb the whole two energy that we have currently being processed. Uh, take you, put you in there. Once, I swear, once we get the turtles up, materials won't be nearly as much of a problem. At least so I hope. Um, so I need empty cells, which I believe I need ten for. More than enough. Then I need... Yeah, screw it. I don't think that will turn into a machine block if I break it. So let's hope. Okay, regular generator. We need... what do we need again? Glass. So, glass. Empty cells. Generator. And then... I forgot the refined iron. Yes, spider. We get it. You want attention. But tough. Okay. Geothermal hooked up. Bucket in the lava. I guess this is also better in a few ways, just considering that you can empty it out entirely. I mean, I can always grab more later. Okay, so hopefully that will give me plenty. I mean, what I could always do is use a lava crucible temporarily just to give me a little bit of extra power. Okay, so I have all my coal, which I will be needing. Get rid of this stuff. Let's put away my crown just for now, because we're we're more of a war king at the moment. Oh, I forgot to burn these. Oh well. Um okay, so we have most of that set up. Yes, spider, we get it. You're up there. Um Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna go kill him real quick. It won't take long. I don't even know why you're still up there. It's daylight. Ow. Ambush, huh? my own little tower thing okay um sweet that's charged and we're doing pretty good oh um bat pack probably gonna need batteries yeah I, I will wait on that I need obsidian first of all which I know I can get with a minium stone let me, uh, let me see how to make a minium stone real quick. I need a nerd stone, which, uh, tell me how to make it, please. I said, tell me. Oh, I was pressing U instead of R. Okay. Just one gold, some, some of those, some smooth stone. Oh, wait, gold dust. Not water, gold dust. Put it in there. Okay, minium stone. These things are like philosopher stones, and apparently philosopher stones have been taken out, or not taken out so much. I mean, you can still get them, but you can't obtain them legitimately. Oh, I have eight. That's perfect. Unless I have more stored somewhere else. But uh, just... okay, minium stone. Um, first thing we need is to make. 
an enchanting table. So I need two of these. Oh, I also need some obsidian, which I forgot to do. So we will put this stuff up, grab an axe, and I believe it's an actual reasonable... Um, that was weird. It looked like the door glued for a second. Uh, reasonable two log per obsidian, which is not very bad. And damn you skeletons, I hate that you can just chill out in the shade now. Or that you actually are smart enough to do so. I think that bugs me more than anything. You know what? Screw you. You're not going to guard these trees. Wow, he actually died pretty easily. Must have been in the fire. You would think they would, like if they're smart enough to seek shelter, you would think they would also be smart enough to go for shelter before it gets daylighty. They're like, oh hey, I'm going to burn up soon like a freaking vampire. Speaking of which, would be kind of cool for them to add. Not excited for them to add it, though. <laughs> Those would suck. Like, every attack would heal them or something. Ooh, I did hear that uh, in Twilight Forest, which I also want to get into, um, they have liches as bosses, more or less. I believe I can do this without the crafting table. And obsidian. We're going to need tons of that later anyway. Oh, we're also going to need it to make another portal, because... I want to make a jetpack, and I need glow dust. Glowstone. Glowstone dust. That's what I meant. Okay, so... Uh, book, book. I know I had a book in here somewhere. So the other chest. And my stomach's a rumbling. Okay, so I have that. I have obsidian. I have the diamonds. Book, or enchanting table. Bam. Now I need some gold and an eye of... Uh, eye of Ender. Or Ender Pearl is what I meant to say. And I make it with four of those. Turn that off. Okay. One, two, three, four. And I think that's it. Okay. So we are going to make a chunk loader. This? Perfect. That way, no matter how far away we are, the turtles will still turtle. Uh, excuse me. So now we have that. We need to make the turtles. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Uh, turtle. I think we might actually need more cobble. Or smooth. But we'll find out. We only need two more. And I should have more than enough for two. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. Wait. What the hell am I doing? For computers, how do I make them into turtles? I think I use the same thing, but with iron and, yeah, chest. So I need, uh, I guess, more iron. My chests. Um. Iron. I think I'm going to need more iron than that. I could always cannibalize some of that stuff. No. Uh, gold, but I don't really want to. I guess it's for a good cause. What? You only get six? Or did it say eight? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. So, chest, iron, computer. And turtles. Next, we are going to need a few things, such as some sticks. Uh, more sticks, actually. We're going to need the redstone right there. And we're going to need some rubies. I can really use any material, but I... I actually... Let's do... Screw it, we'll use sapphires, just because we have most right now. We need to make some picks for the turtles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four total. And then we also need to make some 
redstone torches and I don't remember how to make that I think I need more smooth stone actually so generators actually working pretty damn well it's still mostly full and this thing's jam-packed with power so I could actually afford to make a few more bed boxes but not for now um feels like there's a machine that I should have but I can't remember don't need a recycler induction furnace would be so nice but that would have required advanced chip which I think I no I don't have any glowstone okay so uh, meanwhile, we will equip these turtles with a few of these. So now we have four of these. Uh, we have our chunk loader. We have some chests for the turtles. Actually, wouldn't hurt to have more iron chests. Um, I thought I had more. Ch oh, right. So, um, I'm not sure, because I know you can put a chest in their inventory, quote-unquote, and it will give them a larger inventory, but I wonder what other items you can use. Like, I wonder if you can use, like, an ender pouch and have it theoretically automatically deposited into an ender chest, which would actually be very nice, but eh, we'll test that out and work on it later. Um, for now, I need to make more of these, and I'm going to need more iron. Let's see, 16. It's going to take a while, though. I I need to get overclocked units, but so much resources I don't have that I need. Um, one other thing, I did need to make more clay. Or, I need to make some bricks. Because if I can turn that into... No, you know what? I don't... I, don't. I was going to say I can make a coke coal oven... And make coke coal which is kind of better but screw it don't need it don't want it don't care um going into the drill get rid of the minium stone actually i'm going to need more of this and this unless i want to use just regular chests for now but it's more efficient with better chests obviously screw it i'll cannibalize a little bit more gold how much more do i need Stone. Let's uh, check this before I do it once more. Okay, you get eight. My mistake. So, I, need, I already have enough for one chest, so I need at least... Oh, crap. Oh, well. I can always turn it back to gold later. And four iron more chests. Can I make a gold chest? And how do you make one? Is it the same... You. Yeah, it's the same. So I might actually need to cannibalize that back. So I only need four. I should have enough for just four. But I'm pretty much using all of my gold. Kind of sucks, but... Eh, we'll worry about it later. So, um, hmm. You are done enough. I need to make some wireless units, because for some reason, the program that I found will not work unless it has a wireless router, or modem. And I made one too many. You know what? I don't really care about a modem, because it's not really that expensive to make, so just hook these up to those. Or is it on the other side? I don't think it matters. Okay, so wireless turtles. I have my chests, my coal... I will also need some filtering material, which will be two stone, or one stone each, and then four dirt. So I don't really understand why it needs that. It just says it needs a filter when I use it. So, uh, Speaking of which, uh, this program that I'm going to be using, I know very little about it, so um, don't ask me to explain it. I'll be linking it in the description or something. For you guys to use so have at it okay first of all i need a place to do this uh, i don't think i would mind doing it here just because like i'm not going to be using this stuff later but i think it would be better to do a little further away just in case something screws up ah, damn you go away 
game. Speaking of which, can't wait for Nano Saber. Gonna make the crap out of that. Oh, hey, I think my flux grew. Let's try it over here. No, I don't want it to be by water. Although, if I do it far enough underground, it wouldn't be a problem. Still, just sand doesn't seem like a fun idea. Um, let's go back into my hole. Or, actually, that's a slightly deeper one. So, But it kind of all loops around. So, let's go this way. Luckily, the cool thing about this drill is it works great on dirt as well. So, actually, wouldn't mind doing it over here. Actually, that might be a good idea. Just need to drill deep enough. Um, yeah, right here seems fine. I swear if I fell in the lava or something, I'm going to be pissed. Well, I shouldn't have to worry about lava because, I mean, it makes the noise now, so... Let's see. Let's go to level. Oh. Well, what do you know? We found our level. Mm. We will first set up our chests. Should probably set up torches or something, but whatevs, you know? So, chests. Um, don't really have any materials to make up. Let's block this off or anything. Okay, so we're in here. Good enough. We will set up our turtles. One, two, three, four. They all kind of go off in their own direction. Each of them mining out a chunk pretty much right next to the other one. And shouldn't cause any problems as far as I know. We will find out if any problems have been caused. Put down a chunk loader. Set it to three, just in case. Um, wait, 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 wait. Can that open? No, that cannot. So get rid of that. Move it up one. That would have been embarrassing. So chunk loader. Set to three. Now we need... Let me grab it real quick. I'll, I'll link all this in the tutorial. It shows how to actually do it. But basically, you go HTTP slash paste bin git. And this is the kind of the URL for the paste bin. And you name it, which it's named OrQuarry. You don't have to name it OrQuarry. You can name it anything, really. But anyway, um, not my program. Someone else's program. I'll explain what it does. But first, we need to get all of our quarries to download it. Or not our quarries, our turtles. And I always hate that. I always press E to get out of that, and then I don't know what I press A for. Okay, all of them downloading, connecting to paste bin, grabbing program, download successful, and once more, same as the first. Okay, now we're going to have fun. I'm just going to copy this because I had to do this so many times. I was just like, screw it, let me just make it easy so this one's going to be time miner one and you can naming them just helps them stay separate and also i think it's just helpful and i believe it saves its fuel so it basically won't use oh crap time miner two and it uh, saves how much uh fuel it currently has uh so when you pick it back up it, it won't do anything okay so now all these are set um, all we need to do is tell them to go and to fill them up with their various things. Uh, fuel resource there, then chest next to it, and then you want to do your filter, which is uh, stone and dirt. Let's actually move this slightly. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then uh, one, two, three. Okay, we need to fill all these up first. Well, preferably first. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you could do one at a time and then tell it to go, but uh, let's split this up a bit. You, you, you. Hopefully you don't run out of fuel. If not, I'm going to have to come dig in for you, which will be very hard to do without a jetpack. Okay, all of them have been set. Coal's in the right spot, because if you don't put it in the right spot, it um, 
screws up. So now we need, um, right, grab the last part. And we are at level 47. So, wait, why does it still say I'm at 47? I don't, I think it's because the chests aren't a full block high. Either way, um, the little quotation thing there says 47, so we're going to use that. So, the next thing I had it set to is 49. So, you have ore quarry, which you want that to run. You want it to run by 16 by 16 grid, or at least that's the size I normally run it at. And then uh, 47 is the current level you're on. So, program, size, and then current level. So, you just hit OK, and it starts a digging. And you just pretty much copy and paste all this stuff. I really love the fact that it supports copy and paste. So now what these will do is even when I'm far, far away, they will come here. Or they will go what um actually let me explain what they do before I actually explain it. Um so they dig straight down. Um they start at the bottom level first. That way you get all the good materials first. That way if your chest gets filled up or you're just looking for the best materials first, it um, throws them all inside. And then you're pretty much done. You don't have to do anything. That's the best part. And then uh, layer by layer, they slowly go up and deposit items for you. Um, a few things I should mention is um, the way their programming works is they mine every three layers, which is good because um, they check for ore as they go and if they find an ore then they just keep mining out that vein until they are done and uh, the cool thing particularly about that is uh, you don't really have to worry actually wait what was I saying oh yeah uh, you don't have to worry about massive gaping holes in the ground like a quarry or standard excavate mode and uh, keep in mind this program th this um I guess setup works pretty damn well most of the time and it gives you it pretty much just skips all the crappy resources like well it, it tries to anyway um, but yeah so we we're pretty much done setting that up now what we have to do is wait for materials meanwhile we can do other things